In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create a pricing page using a pricing table for Rest Restrict Content Pro. Let's say that your website has three subscription options, gold, silver, and bronze. Each one of them provides certain features or certain levels of access to your website, and each one has a different price. You want to have a pricing page that explains the, dif the, the differences and the benefits of each plan to your potential customers. Let's look at an example. Themezilla.com slash pricing is a very elegant example of a pricing page that clearly describes exactly what each of the different options are, what the benefits are, how much they cost, etc. So while we're not going to create this exact page, this is what we're going we're going to look at creating this type of page. We're going to use a free pricing table plugin, which is a simply a plugin that allows you to create a pricing table, and then we're going to connect it to registration forms in Restrict Content Pro. So the first thing to do is create your subscription levels. I've already done this, and I have three levels, gold, silver, and bronze. Each one of these has a one month duration and the, a different price tag. Now, as a site admin, I would go through and set my content up to be restricted to each individual level based on what they're supposed to have access to. So I'm enabling or disabling features based on the access level. Now what I need to do is I need to go create a registration form for each of my plans. You can see I already have a register form page. And if we look at this in a browser while not logged in, we see this. We see the plan levels, gold, silver, and bronze. But what if I want to have a separate registration form for each individual plan? So instead of having them choose the plan here, I want to create a separate pricing page where they choose their plan, they click sign up on the plan they want, and they fill out their information without having to choose it again. That's what we're going to do. So what we need to do first is create a new page, and we're going to create a page for each level. Now, we're going to use the register form shortcode, and we're going to give it an ID. This says, here's the ID of the subscription level I want a registration form for. So the gold subscription level has an ID of one. Now for organization, we're going to go ahead and set this as a child of the register page. That's not necessary. It's just how I like to do it. Now, if we view this page, you'll see that it says this is for the gold level and it's $30 a month. And now there's no longer an option to choose the different plans. It's already shown you which plan you're registering for. So let's do that for each of our subscription plans. So the next one is silver. Which has an ID of two. And now we'll add one more, which is bronze which has an ID of three. And now just to make sure that each one of our pages is working the way we expect, let's go up here. Bronze looks good and silver looks good. Excellent. Now it's time to create a pricing pay table. So let's go to this plugin. Now, first of all, let me go ahead and show you the options before we jump in there. So if we go to plugins and add new, and we simply search pricing table. There's a lot of options. And these are all free plugins on wordpress.org. You can see there's a whole slew of options to choose from. Some work better than others. Some have certain features that the others don't. Play with them, figure out which one you like. Uh, personally, I like this one, Easy Pricing Tables Lite by Fat Cat Apps. David is an excellent developer and his ratings show it. Uh, it's a nice simple plugin to use and it has a, a paid version if you want, if you want some of those additional features. For this demonstration, we're gonna use the free one though. So we go over here, go to pricing tables and let's click add new. And let's just say, let's just call it pricing. Now you can see we can set up each column. So we have three plans, so we want three columns. So we'll start by putting silver on the left, which is $20 per month. Then we're going to list the features and we'll just say tutorials, plugins, themes. We'll say sign up is our button text. And now here, this is simply the URL to the page that has our silver registration form, which is right here. Now we'll go put gold, which is $30 a month. Tutorials, plugins, themes, and more. This URL is slash gold, and we're going to go ahead and feature this one. And now bronze, which is $10 per month. And we'll just say it's limited tutorials and plugins. Okay. 
We'll click Save. Now, let's go create a new page called Pricing that we're going to place the shortcode on. We have a button right here to Insert Pricing Table. And that's going to generate the shortcode for us. We'll click, click Publish. And now let's view the page to see what it looks like. There it is, a nice simple pricing table that displays each of our plans, tells us which is the most popular, gives us the sign up buttons, the features, etc. Now, if we go view this in our incognito window where we're logged out, we'll see the same thing. But if we click one, you'll see that it takes us straight to the registration form for that particular plan. Now, obviously, this one doesn't look quite as nice out of the box as, say, the ThemeZilla one does. But remember, this is a plugin that we've installed and set up in less than five minutes. With a little bit of custom CSS or changing some of the preferences of the plugin, you can style it to look exactly like you want. But here, in less than five minutes, we've created a pricing table, we've set up our subscription levels, and we've shown the different features that uh, the people are, that your customers are able to subscribe to, and listed which features are available for which plan, etc. So it's really simple to do. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know.